I'm at the new Sue Rider Shop, um, which we've just opened in uh, Shinfield Road today. And I've got Jack Furness here with me from uh, Sue Rider, Public Affairs Manager. And uh, obviously, Sue Rider are opening a number of shops and they've got to raise money. So, Jack, what's this all about today? Why is the, why are the shops such a big part of your plans? Um, the shops are really important because essentially what Sue Rider is about is providing um, healthcare. Seven hospices, seven neurological centres, uh, and it's about giving people the care they need. Um, as a charity provider, we don't get full statutory funding, um, and so our retail chain, as well as providing fantastic stock, um, a great environment, and a shop is crucial in uh, providing the funds that we need to support our hospices and to care for people in their own homes as inpatients and around the community. And as I understand it, you get about half your money from contracts like Departure West PCT and you get about half of the shops. But just moving on to something a little bit more controversial, uh, obviously there's a lot of uh, debate about uh, assisted dying at the moment. And really, one of the things that I feel very strongly about is that we should be talking more about palliative care. Has Sue Ryder got any particular views on that? Um, our view is that we want to provide high quality palliative care for people are nearing the end of their lives. Um, we want to make sure that they're comfortable, that they have people around them, that their wishes are met, um, and that they can be cared for and not really die in the place of their choice as much as we can make that possible. And that's, that's our focus. Thank you.